Yeah. Oh, okay. This is part I, of the. I've worn them like secretly on the air. Like I'll turn them around sometimes. You can't see the. Yeah. Just just because <laughs> they're special. What that is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, pretty nice outside today. Feels like a nice fall day. A very typical fall day. As that cloud coverage has started to march its way back over our area. And if you look off in the distance for the first time this season, seeing some snow capped peaks this Mount St. Helens from our Ridgefield camera out the Aylan Nay Resort and we are likely going to be seeing more snowfall up in elevation here in the coming days as we currently sit at about 66 degrees out at PDX. You'll notice those clouds becoming more widespread. It's by about four or five six o'clock this evening that we expect to see the return of the wet weather. But if you are above about 6500 feet starting tonight through Saturday, expect to see a few more additional snow flurries out that area as the cloud coverage continues to march its way on shore, becoming thicker by the hour as we far as start to pick up on just a few light raindrops out over the coast range and eventually all of that becoming more widespread, pushing its way further off to the east as our uh, winds really have been lackluster today. That's the good news gusts right now at about 10 miles per hour for the Portland area and we could potentially see them top off at about 20 to 25 miles per hour as we work our way through the rest of this afternoon. But by the evening, those winds really tapering back as our latest cold front marches its way through the Pacific Northwest. As we see that one exit, another one starts to enter and that will keep the wet weather trend for us as we move our way in a Saturday, but less than ideal for that annular solar eclipse. We'll break that down here in just a moment as the wet weather once again returns to our area. By the time we get to this evening through the overnight hours, it slows down waking up tomorrow with widespread cloud coverage. And again, that eclipse happening right around eight o'clock or so before the next batch of wet weather moves in tomorrow afternoon. So what you're experiencing today will be a rinse and repeat scenario for tomorrow. Filling up our rain gauges all the way through Sunday morning, the next 48 hours, about a quarter into the bucket for the I-5 quarter, nearly a half inch for some of our coastal communities. As today, we expect to get close to 70 degrees. Those rain showers picking up later this evening. But don't forget the 2023 solar eclipse, the annular, which means we will see the ring of fire once again fall its way over much of the western half of the country. But to view it, You've got to have these special glasses at no point in time should you ever look at the sun without them. And that's going to continue to move its way into much of the Pacific Northwest. It's the Eugene, Roseburg, Springfield, Coos Bay area that's going to see the prime time of this. But even here in Portland, about 86% of the sun will be covered. That gets underway at about 920 or so. Again, all depending if the cloud coverage behaves, which unfortunately it does look like it's going to be mostly cloudy, although I have high hopes that we'll see just a few thinner clouds allowing for us to be able to see it through. But again, you still got to wear those specialty glasses. But if you're heading down to Eugene, one of the prime time spots to see the ring of fire, that's just going to give you those picturesque views, but still seeing the eclipse here. That's going to be warming up into the upper 50s by the time the eclipse comes to an end. Seven day forecast does show that the wet weather returns for the second half of the day tomorrow. We get back up into the upper 60s. We go even warmer Sunday despite the widespread cloud coverage, but the wettest day over the next seven days that just so happens to fall on Monday mm. before we slowly dry things out for the middle of the week and seeing those on again, off again rain showers. But again, Jenny, yeah, I want to see those again. Yeah, so they're just like paper. They're just paper. Yeah. You we got a whole bunch of information on coin.com right now. You got those on Amazon, right? I got these on Amazon, but okay. you want to make sure that they have the ISO. Oh. Okay. On, that means that they're safe and you can look at the sun. Okay, them. yeah, and Josh is going to yes. head down to uh, head south. So I, I can... think I'm going to try to head south. Hopefully, I'm still kind of yeah. looking at the forecast because oh. it's looking pretty cloudy everywhere. You could have blown your paycheck on these. I yes. could have, but they were cheap. So. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> we'll be right back with more news and a final check on that forecast.